Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dear Gracious Dube and thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, I have been gone. I've been gone for... Girl, I've been gone, okay? I can't remember the last time I sat down to film. Honestly, I think it's been over two months now. And to be honest, not that I have not tried to film. I have tried. I've even done a few vlogs. I've edited some even, but I just have not uploaded for some strange mystical reason. I'm not sure why, but I'm back. <laughs> and I feel like every year I come back and I say the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'm back guys and happy new year to all of you. I'm so happy to be back and I thought to start off 2021, I would do a very like chill, just um, chatty kind of video, very short and sweet, hopefully, I hope. And today's video, I am going to be doing my favorite products from 2020. These are the products that I found myself grabbing a lot throughout the year. These are products that I have repurchased some of them. Some of them are new, but I love them so much. And then others I've just repurchased over and over again. And to be honest with you, these are not all products which I discovered last year. Some of them I discovered a few years ago and I've just been using them for the past few years, but I grab them the most and they just make 2020 a little bit sweeter, a little bit more bearable and so I wanted to share them with you guys. This video was um, actually inspired by Maneo. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's another YouTuber here on YouTube. I really like her content and she did this video and I thought, hmm, you know, I could, I could also do a video like that because I have a few products that I absolutely love that I always recommend to all my friends and to you guys who follow me, especially on Instagram. I love to plug you guys on products that I use that work amazing on me. So yeah, let us get straight into this video. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe and um, let's get started. Okay, so I want to start with the OG, like the best product ever. And I'm even ashamed to say that I only discovered this product last year. Only started using this product last year, okay? And that is this baby right here. Like, all hail the queen. This baby right here, this product, guys, is so, so good. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. I know it looks like a lip gloss but it's not it's not a lip gloss this product is so multi-functional it is the elizabeth arden original eight hour cream um i think there's one that is scented as well i just took am i lying i don't know but i think there's one that's scented and one that's not scented i could be mistaken but this does have a scent um but it says the original so i'm guessing that there's another version of it anyway this baby right here is the best product okay like it is so multifunctional i use this as a lip gloss i use this as a lip balm and then what i like to do with this is that i like to mix it with this product right here so if you're wondering what combination i'm wearing on my lips it is this revlon um vinyl lip polish and this is in the color at natural and these two together are like my everyday staple i love this so much because it just looks effortless like it looks like I just have a gloss on, but my lips are pink. They just look, you know, scrumptious. Okay, in my opinion, I love this color combination. So as I was saying, it's multifunctional. It can be used as a lip gloss. It can be used as a lip balm. If your hands are dry, just apply this on your hands. If you have a little scratch, um, a little cut, apply this on. And to be honest with you, I had seen this product before. My mom used to use this 8-hour cream like years ago. Last year, I saw it pop up on my Instagram quite a lot, and I just got curious, and I walked into Clegg's, and I saw the price point, and I was like, hmm. But I decided to just try it anyway, so I think it's 300 rand, somewhere there, somewhere around 280, 330, depending on where you buy it. But it is so worth it. It's going to last you months and months and months. I've had mine for a few months now and it's not even halfway. So this is the number one product for me of 2020. Okay, and the next product is this baby right here. This is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Lotion SPF 50. This is the sunscreen that I use on my 
face, okay? This is the best sunscreen for me personally. I've tried other sunscreens and I did use them for quite a while. My skin is very unproblematic, so it usually likes I don't want to say lights but like it can tolerate almost anything I don't get breakouts um, I don't really I do get clogged, clogged pores and I'm not gonna lie about that I do get clogged pores especially recently I've been getting a lot of like anyway that's not the point of this the point of this is that this um, sunscreen is the best sunscreen okay like it applies so beautifully it has zero white Cost. I have not seen a white cast on myself. It is not oily. It is lightweight. It applies beautifully under makeup. I always use this under my makeup. And there's a time when the body shop had stopped stocking this, and my heart broke because I just didn't know what I was gonna use. So I tried different sunscreens. Others were okay. Others not so much. Others like left this white cast, especially on darker skin tones. But this baby right here. It is the best and it is a bit on the pricier side. Um, in fact, I would say it's somewhere in the middle because I think it's three, it's 300 and something. So it's not the most expensive sunscreen, but it is not on the cheaper side as well. But for me, it is worth it. It does last me a few months as well. And yes, yeah, so this is one of my favorite products for 2020. Now, next up, I am going to speak on hair product. Firstly, it is the My Out Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. Guys, I'm not going to, um, I don't know all the prices of my hair, so I'm going to put the prices in the description if you guys are interested. I will try and include some links as well if I can find them. But yeah, it's the My Out um, Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. I love this shampoo. And that is rare for me to say. I've spoken a bit about the Tresemme shampoo on this channel. And last year when Tresemme had their little scandal, it was heated, okay? And eventually Tresemme got removed off shelves of a lot of different retailers. And so if you're looking for Tresemme, I don't know where you're going to find it. I don't know where to find it to this day. But to be honest, I haven't even been checking for that Tresemme shampoo at all. I just... Like, I just found alternatives, I just tried to make it work. Luckily, I still had my cow's daughter co wash, so I was using that. But sometimes you just need a shampoo. And so, I was doing a campaign with my L in December last year, and this baby right here. Like, I even want to say that this is better than the Tresemme one. The only difference is that this is pricier than the Tresemme one. The Tresemme one is quite affordable. This one, I can't remember the exact price, so it is a bit on the pricier side in terms of a hair care product, but it is a very, very good shampoo. Like your hair, it leaves the hair moisturized. So it's not even a matter of it doesn't dry out the hair, it actually leaves your hair feeling more, like I was blown away, like it leaves your hair feeling moisturized. The only thing is that, please don't open your eyes, don't get the stuff in your eyes because it stings. It stings. Okay, like it took me by surprise. Like it was stinging. I couldn't even open my eyes for like a good minute or so because I got this in my eyes and it stunned me. And then I also just talk about this twisting pudding. If you guys follow me on Instagram, again, I'm gonna add my Instagram somewhere in the description. You should follow me on Instagram because I do post some good content. But yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I love doing twist arts and this baby right here is the best product that I've used for my twist arts. Okay, it is a 10. In fact, no, let me not say a 10 out of 10 because there is one slight little itty bitty issue with this. Um, so it's about a 9 out of 10 and the issue is that it does flake. Okay, it does flake so it flakes and nobody wants to have flaky hair no one wants to be like do this and then just have it snowing all up around you so it does flake that is the downside so my only advice is if you do try this is to use a little bit a little goes a long way and also don't mix it with like a butter or anything like that because that might actually make it flake even more so I would say just an oil and the twisting pudding and you're gonna get other best twist outs okay like the best twist out trust okay product number Ooh. Ah! <laughs> okay this was sitting was laying flat like this and mine has started to leak a little bit 
Um, I've had this for like two years now, um, but I still get asked a lot of questions about this spray. Whenever I show the spray, let me just dry this because it's making me wet. So, whenever I do uh, like hair tutorials and I show the spray, I get asked a lot of questions about this spray. This spray is really amazing. It sprays continuously. Okay, so this this finger is not gonna get tired. You know, like when you're doing your hair and then your your hands are like oily and they've got um, moisturizer and oil, whatever, and then you still try and spray the water and it's almost impossible. This spray right here is a game changer. I got this at Discam. People always ask me, where did you get your spray bottle? I got it at Discam. I believe it is still there, but like I said, I've had it for quite a while now. This also is the ultimate plug. I'm plugging you guys on this spray. I know a few people sell this, like Love King sells this, and I saw that Purple Hair also sells a similar spray, so it's not this exact one. It is a similar spray in the sense that it is a spray bottle and it sprays continuously, so you literally just spray once and then the mist is, I don't know if you guys can see, but the mist is continuous. And the great thing, well, okay. I'll answer that later. So, <laughs> the great thing about this spray is that it is on the affordable side this spray was less than a hundred rand i can't remember exactly how much it was but i remember it was less than a hundred rand i'll try and put the price up for you guys if i can find this on the website Otherwise, you can just walk into a discount and look for this spray just be careful that you do not put um conditioner and heavy oils uh, heavy conditioners in here because it does clog um so if you do make sure it's mainly water so like 95 percent water and then you can put a little bit of conditioner or oil because it does clog up easily i have not clogged this one but i almost did one time when i did um okay let me just answer this hey babe. hey next up it is this foundation this baby right here this was my first time trying revlon in general and i started with the revlon um color stay full, uh, color stay full cover foundation now earlier i did show you guys my revlon lip gloss i bought that lip gloss and this more or less at the same time and i've had this for quite a while and i do not use it just because i do that sometimes i just buy stuff and i don't use them straight away but then um, I ended up using this like I think maybe October of last year and okay this foundation is so good like the finish of this foundation is so good it is so silky um, it is I don't want to say it's a matte finish but it's definitely not a satin finish either. It's somewhere in between. Um, but of course, if you put powder, it does dry matte. But before you put powder or anything like that, it dries somewhere like in between. So actually more like a satin finish. Um, yeah, between a satin and a matte finish. Somewhere like, you know, that just that sweet spot in the middle where it's not too oily looking, too shiny, but it's not matte also. This just has the best finish. This is a drugstore foundation. This foundation costs a hundred and is it a hundred and something? I think it's a hundred and something rand. I can't remember exactly, but when I bought it, I remember it was not expensive and it is worth every rand. It is worth every cent. I use these on my clients and trust me, this foundation it is a full coverage. It can also be medium coverage, but it's very, very buildable and it's really, really really good i highly recommend this foundation and then next up now this i'm excited to share with you guys because this is blink mink lashes it is the lashes that i'm wearing in the style nandi these lashes okay just check out this pretty packaging like how pretty is this packaging It's so, so pretty. I just found it to be so unique. I had not seen like this shape before. Most lashes are in like a rectangular shape. And this is my favorite lash of 2020. The lady who owns this lash brand, she sent me a DM and she's like, hey, I'd like to send you some lashes to try out. And I was like, yes, of course, because I love lashes. And if I don't have to spend money on them, 
I'm not gonna say no. So she sent me the lashes and I have been hooked ever since. I even went back and I bought more lashes for myself. So I used my own coins and I purchased the lashes from her. And I purchased the style Mandy because that's the one that I love. She does have other styles as well, but this one is just a perfect. I just find it to be so perfect. I love these lashes so so much you guys want to support her I think they go for between 140 and 150 Rand and that is more or less the price that you will pay for mink lashes these are mink lashes they are exceptional quality the lady who sells them is so sweet I will leave um, the details uh, Instagram details in the description box and yeah these are my favorite lashes Okay, so next up is also one of my favorite okay these are all my favorite products so i'm gonna stop saying my favorite product but next up is this baby right here this is uh, the palmas coca butter skin therapy face oil so what happened is that last year when the pandemic kind of like started um this i buy from beauty on tap by the way so beauty beauty on tap was out of stock and i could not find this oil anyway and we were heading towards uh, we were heading into winter and my skin was just not dealing like in winter especially the beginning of winter my skin goes through this weird phase where it gets really really dry and i just need an oil so i walked into this camp and i saw this palmer's face oil and i thought why not let me just try it it was not expensive it was a hundred and something right and i thought let me just give it a go and uh, okay this oil is amazing this oil is everything i plugged a few people on this oil it's really 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 good i only use it at night now because i use this one during the day so i use this one in the evenings and if you're struggling a bit with dry skin i would say definitely get this oil try it out okay and then you can send me a dm to thank me later okay because this is a good good stuff <laughs> And we're done so we're done but there's one more product that I want to show you guys and this one I started using also late last year and I just I just I just have to tell you guys about this okay so this is the product it is the Revlon skin lights okay this is the shade Twilight Gleam 202 Twilight Gleam this is the one that I use you guys see this highlight so what I love about this highlight is that it is not like grainy it's not talk you know some highlights is like you put them on and it actually enhances the texture on your skin it actually ends up looking not so good because if your skin's a bit textured it makes the skin look more textured the great thing about this highlighter is that the particles are really really fine and I don't know just when I put it on it doesn't look like I'm wearing you know highlight it doesn't look like the highlight is in your face it's very subtle but it's still beautiful and I just I just had to mention this one right here because I've been using this a lot I've been picking this up a lot and it's really 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 good there's a hundred and like I still have the price right here it was 132 rand 131.95 cents and it is worth every single cent it's really really nice in fact let me put some on right now and just show you guys okay i'm gonna overdo it a little bit okay 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 it's just that and i just love that it. it's so subtle and yet it looks like and as the day progresses it looks like you're just glowing naturally effortlessly it doesn't look like you actually put on a highlighter like i said and the proof is in the pudding and yeah that is it for our video today i hope you guys enjoyed that video i promise to give you more content in the future very very soon and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye